19 cars dropped off after day one. Stuck in Limuru. Uh, today being Thursday, they were at the super stage in Kasarani. And they're now heading down to Nanyuki, they're using the Limuru route. So we're stuck here, we're trying to find a way to go back down to Maimahi and use the escarpment route all the way to Naivasha town. At 5, we were out of our hotel room, 5.30. First stage was in Kedong. We go in and we set base. So what happens is that, uh, and that happens with all rallies, because you leave in the morning, it's so cold, your old scarves and all that stuff, and then a few hours in, now the sun is there, bam. There's no chance to have breakfast, you're having your breakfast on site. This was always part of the Easter calendar. So most of us were being taken by our folks. Um, and that's the last time when the safari was on the WRC. That's 2002. So how, do I, how did I get into it? Of course, I was taken by my parents. That's how I started getting into the rally. Why do we do this? It's in line with what we do at the Three Quarters Podcast. It's all about sports. I could comfortably be sitting in my bed or I could comfortably be in my house, but we always leave the house to go watch sports and to, to enjoy whatever it is that we are going to be enjoying. So. Um, it's, it's, it's just the adrenaline, the rush, uh, and all that stuff. I think that's what we want to enjoy. We are in so Sambu Spectator Stage 2. 19 casualties, 19 from day one. Uh, it is 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we are in Soisambu Spectator Stage 2. 19 casualties, 19 from day one. Cars will normally pass into two sections. So you have maybe section four and section eight, hypothetically. So in between the last car of section two and the first car of section four, you have like three hours three, four hours. So all that happens there is what we were doing. We had our chef, he's, he's hooking us up with some good dish, we have our drinks, we're just catching up. We had Kwame who was the DJ and just playing music, you know, and just and just catching up and just joking. There's one thing that's lost in uh, the 19 years, we become clearer over time. Huh? Yeah. The fact that we had such an attachment to rallying was also born of the fact that our drivers were competitive. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Joginda Singh, you know, multi rally winner. Yeah. Shekameta still holds the record. I mean, under WRC. Yes. If you throw in the KNLC, that's, that's another thing yeah. altogether. But under yeah. WRC status, yeah. he still holds the record. Part of the rallying, apart, apart from the timing, the Easter, the whole family thing, passed down the cultural aspect, is the fact that our drivers were competitive. Our drivers were given a chance to drive WRC cars. Yeah. It's actually people going head to head, national, local drivers going head to head yeah. with the best of uh, global drivers in cars which yeah. are matched. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Shekameta is out there, the 240 RS, mm -hmm. Nissan, in Duncan, uh, uh, Celica. Celica, I think it was an ST 185 that he won in. Yeah. Um, Vic Preston drove a Lancy Delta, yeah. HF Integral, yeah. and he was actually at some point uh, when with the 037, he was actually the leading driver driving a works team. Yeah. Um, so, so it's actually born of the fact that we were competitive. Yes. Uh, what I'm going to say is that uh, what we have seen as rally fans is that if you're going to go for the rally, go for it on Friday and Saturday. Uh, the advantage of that is that number one, you get everyone in action. Uh, the big names have been dropped off. 19 cars dropped off after day one. Friday, so you get everyone in the action. But number two, uh, like you've seen from a logistical perspective and in an infrastructure and traffic, it's easier to deal with it on that Friday. Saturday, they need to do quite a bit of work on the spectator, and even worse, Sunday. Hell's Gate was chaotic. But anyway, we won't get into that. Gents, thank you very much. Um, it was a fantastic one.
Thank you very much. Uh, remember to follow us or rather subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, continue watching content on sports. We're all about sports and we're all about commercializing sports in uh, Africa and Kenya. And the WRC has been the first sign that that is very possible. To the next one, guys. Cheers.